The last time I visited the National Stadium was in 1999, and that was when Nigeria had the Nigeria 99 match. This place looks a whole lot better than what it looks now, okay? Guys, this is the reality of our National Stadium, and this is how it looks like. My name is Glory Rex. I love to explore, you know, show you guys the world through my lens for those that are meeting me for the first time. In this particular video, I'll be showing you my visit to National Stadium, Teslim Balogo Stadium, which is beside or opposite this particular National Stadium, and I went to my favorite childhood spot. So for those that grew up in Surumere, if you remember, there's a Mr. Bix and Tantalizer at Masha. That used to be my favorite hangout as a kid. When you get a good position in your school, in your you know grades or anything you do, the reward is what do you want as a child? Of course, my favorite pick is take me to either Mr. Bix or Tantalizer because of the whole experience and the fact that it was something that myself and my peers talked about a whole lot. So for those that grew up in Surumere, let me know if you share this experience with me as well. I know myself or my friends actually did at the time, but I'd love to know if you're part of us. <laughs> There's a whole lot to share with you guys in this video. I'd love you to watch till the end. Leave your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Guys, on our way back, we also stopped at the National Theatre. Please watch till the end because there's a whole lot to show you guys, okay? I'm less pain, the world green with envy. Where our lights will burn brightly without season. In unity we'll dance and rejoice in a frenzy. Nigeria. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Rex. I am a poet, a content creator, and a movie audio editor. In this particular video, I'll be sharing with you guys my own experience because I just went exploring. So if you are new to my channel or you're seeing me for the first time, please do not make this your last. I create awesome videos. I'll drop some links below in the description box for you guys to go check out. And while you are at it, please do not forget to hit the red key subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. When I post another interesting video, you are notified instantly. Guys, I create amazing content and I really want you guys to join my amazing family for those that are just seeing me for the first time. My returning subscribers, you guys are the realest MVPs because this channel is nothing without you guys. Thank you for always watching my videos, subscribing, sharing everything I do. I see you, I love you, and I really do appreciate you. Thank you so very much. I'm very, very grateful. Guys, you have a lot to talk about. This particular national stadium here in Surudere was built in the year 1972, ahead of the All-Africa Games that were held in 1973. This particular structure has been in existence for about 52 years. For my calculation, from the time it was built till the time I filmed this video, which is January 6th, 2024 what i can say is that the engineering is quite good i just wish it had good maintenance all along i would love to come back and see the changes because we were told that the building is under construction so let's just hope that it looks better than the way it looks right now One continent we simplify Hear the sound I went on a Saturday and I remember I spoke with my you know, senior colleague in the industry, Ima Etims, asking um, what time is the best time to go to the stadium and he told me for what purpose and I said to just go and visit and you know, 
see how the place is so he said it's saturday and saturday was actually the best time to have gone to the stadium that was because there were other activities okay that i wanted to capture because i did just want to go there to just look around and there was nothing to film and uh, what i noticed was that at the entrance gates people were selling stuff so you could buy maybe sportswear and other stuff because that was where my husband got me this so the guy that sold these bats to us mentioned that they used to be inside the stadium before but he mentioned something i said so everybody is now outside selling so at the time i filmed this video if you're passing at the stadium you're going to see some people selling outside but what he said is that people that were selling inside are now selling outside the gate so that's part of the things i observed The stadium itself does not look encouraging because of the dilapidating building. The only exciting thing was the effort I saw amongst the young ones. The effort of the young ones just made me so excited and that's because I saw young people skating, I saw young people trying to model, I saw young people um, just being focused and being serious with whatever it is that brought them to the stadium. So the guys that were playing their street football, just doing their stuff. This particular stadium I'm showing you guys is the one at Suruleri. This was when I said I came to in 1999. I only just thought to come here to see what it looks like as an adult. And my fellow explorer decided to come with me. And I'm so excited about that. So guys, I saw one guy that was even playing an instrument all by himself. And I was so happy. So this is the Olympic size pool that is at the National Stadium. Okay, so these are the supporters club. Apparently, when you watch matches, those people that support footballers, these are some of them here. So I was actually curious about the gym and I was directed to come this way. So come along with me. I will not over explain to you how the sun was hot on the day that we got here I mean, what you guys can see in the video the sun was really sunning like they say these days the sun was really hot too so we had to just get some refreshments like you guys can see here in the video on our way to the gym we heard some people cheering like there was a live match going on so we decided to go you know take a sneak peek and we saw some young ladies playing a tournament and they said it was free to come and watch so what we did was after we went to the um, gym we stopped by at the football pitch to watch the match I would say from what I could see, I was really encouraged and happy to see some young people and also some people that are willing to sponsor girls to, you know, be better. I was so happy to see all of that. So at this time, I was ready to go see what Teslin Balogun looks like. So this Teslin Balogun Stadium was built in the year 2007. However, from the way the building looks, judging from the time it was built, from 2007 till now that I'm filming this video, which is January 6th, 2024, that's about 17 years. All I would just say is that they said the building is under construction. I hope to come back and see that a lot has actually changed because there's a lot to talk about, but I'll actually leave you guys to judge in the comment section. So if primary and secondary schools decide to take their students on excursion, is this the national treasure that they are going to come and see? I'm trying to imagine the look on their faces. This particular place, you can see some guys walking here. So um, the chairs are really dilapidating. The fact that this canal looks this way is even scary and I'm like, God, or even on the seat, you can see it written that you should not sit. But however, this is the Chesley Balogo Stadium that you may have heard of. I'm hoping to come back someday. Construction would have been done. So after that, of course, you know what next. We decided to go to Mr. Biggs or Tantalizer to go see my childhood, you know, enjoyment that year. However, when we got here, it was still looking. At least the building was still intact. The food was great. I enjoyed myself alongside my fellow explorer and what else yeah it was nice we had conversations and then we left so on our way we stopped by at the national theater i think there was an event going on so it didn't let us pass beyond the setting point but in the next video i'll be uploading you guys we went there on monday and the place was free we went around saw a lot of activities going on i actually got some people's numbers so for those that are interested in drawing you like to draw i'm going to you know hook you up with people that actually train people on how to draw because i actually got some contact when i went to the national theater on a monday that i had time to explore with my fellow explorers so let me know if you love content like this so that i can create more of things like this because like i said I want to show you guys the world through my lens and I would only do that with your support. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do hit the red key subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that whenever I post another interesting video, YouTube can recommend it to others. Another thing I'm so excited to show you guys in this video is my new table tennis set. Yes, this is my new table tennis set, guys. So this is so this will prevent me from having a candy crystal mother. 
for those that don't understand what it means it means like when you have like those you know fat hands that are but they are very flabby so this will reduce that by the time you are doing this it will reduce the hand of Akami Christian mother I'm just joking let me just unbox it and see what is inside so come along let's see it together okay guys we are done unboxing this particular paper came out apparently it's not attached to this so this is what we have i like how it feels okay so i have um two plywood of this and i have a net oh okay that's the post okay i have net i have this particular one and i have three balls Okay, so before I wrap up this video, I would love to suggest to those that are constructing the National Stadium and this particular Tesla Banugu Stadium, if it's possible, to be nice for a particular space or a room to be dedicated as a museum to exhibit our heroes, people that have played for Nigeria, people that have made Nigeria proud, and also the team that also played. If it is displayed nicely to attract a lot of people, it will also generate its own income. Even if people are to pay a token to just enter the place at least some people will be paid to look after the place it is just a suggestion that should be looked into because these people that have played for nigeria they deserve to be remembered that is what i just want to add to everything i have showed you guys so i hope you guys actually like my video if you did please do not forget to like subscribe and share my name is glory rex i will see you guys in another interesting video however in the next video i'll be uploading so we'll be me taking a walk in this particular national theater i'll show you guys a lot of things that you may not have known about show you some things that you may consider to join for those that love art and love drawing guys i'll see you in another video please do not forget to like subscribe and share take care of yourself i love you and i'll see you bye